All right, so check it out. We've got the pipe here, three and a half inch down pipe for the turbos. Had to readjust it. So one of the things that I wanted to do is I want to weld. First, I want to weld up this part and then weld it to the manifold, the down pipe up there. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of find a solution to kind of see if I could stop this weld splatter, right? Now you can buy weld splatter spray and I probably should, but and probably will in the future, but right now I don't have any. And I'm kind of lazy about going to the store, so what I thought I would do is just try out the cooking oil that I see people talking about. Vegetable oil, cooking oil, whatever. So I'm gonna spray it on here. I'm gonna weld this up as best as I can. I'm an amateur welder, just to be clear. I don't do this for a living. I'm building a car, kinda got a weld to do this, or else you gotta pay a lot of money to have somebody do it. So, and you gotta wait for them to do it. So anyway, let's see if cooking oil is a myth or a fact. All right, so first off, I don't really know just how much you're supposed to use of this stuff, but I'm guessing that you're supposed to just kind of spray a little bit on here and kind of get it kind of wet, I guess. I don't really know. Now, this is not vegetable oil. It's cooking oil, so... And, well, let's see if I don't catch myself on fire here. Don't try this at home. Even though I am, I wouldn't recommend it. All right, well, let's see. I gotta say, there is considerably less splatter on here than there would normally be. Let me show you. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. I mean, that is, I don't even think there is any sort of splatter that wasn't on there before. Maybe a couple little pieces, but for the most part, there's virtually no splatter. It burned a little bit, but besides that, it's like I missed a little spot right there on the weld. Looks like that welder's not getting the tip. Right there, tiny little spot. All right, let me hit that real quick before I forget. Yeah, man, all right. Let's go clean it off. Let's go wash it off, wire brush it, and then I'll take it, let you take a closer look at it. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I'll definitely be doing that from now on. Love it. Who would've thought? All right, so you can see there's virtually no splatter anymore. That stuff worked incredible. I'm definitely gonna be using that from now on. You can see there is virtually no splatter. You can see that I haven't even cleaned it up because there's still, I left that slight discoloration on there from the burning stuff, just so you know that it wasn't cleaned yet. Now I'm gonna wire brush it. And uh, wow, I'm just so impressed. Yeah, just straight cooking oil, man, it's in a little spray bottle. Wow. That's disgusting to do. We go nice all right now we'll weld this up to the downpipe and then take it all apart do it all again all right let me get some of that hoop house in all right let's get that vegetable oil where's that at where's my fucking squirt bottle
Now we just have to wrap it and put it back on the car and we'll be good to go. Finally done with that. Boy, that feels good. That feels real good. At least that all I gotta do is put this V-band on there and uh, it's done too. So much work going into these things, man. So much work.